In Indianapolis, Fountain Square is kind of a nice part of town. And in this nice part of town, for years there's been an area known as Irish Hills. Now, the topography of this area has no hills here, but back in the day, it kind of reflected where a number of the Irish came to settle here in Indianapolis. Now, Irish Hills was Irish, Democrat, and kind of the blue-collar worker, so it really had a reputation as being a pretty tough place to live. There were a number of different neighborhood taverns and places to meet. One of the most famous was Jim Riley's, and on Sunday afternoon, it became a focal meeting point for the Irish. Following mass and dinner, guys would get together, have conversation, maybe share a pint or two, and of course, uh, from time to time, maybe a game of craps would break out. But the Irish really centered in a number of different leisure time places to spin some tales of the old days and maybe discuss the current political situation here in Indianapolis. The St. Patrick's Church in Fountain Square was the local parish until about 1895 when Holy Cross was built at Oriental and Ohio Street. The St. Patrick's Day Church, which you're seeing right now, was rebuilt back in 1929. Irish Hills is still a vibrant part of Indianapolis. And what keeps it going back to those roots is there's an Irish Hill Association. And that's a part of Irish history that goes way, way back. The railroad was key to Irish settlement and also the demise of the Irish here in Indianapolis. Bates Avenue was an area where Pennsylvania Railroad came through in 1847, and this area flourished until just shortly after World War I, when Pennsylvania Railroad built an elevated track, demolished a lot of homes in this area, and the Irish moved to St. Philip's Parish and to Lady of Our Lord's Parish as well. The railroad provided many an opportunity for the Irish here in Indianapolis, but it also helped spread the Irish through the demise of the railroad to other parts of the Star City. So this is the site of the Bates Street Tunnel. In 1918, many of the Irish would go underneath this tunnel, underneath the tracks to get to the railroad yards in which they'd go to work every day. Not a tunnel anymore, it's all been bricked in a little bit, but this is the spot where many of the Irish passed every single day to go to work to build this great city. A real unique part of Indianapolis, Irish Hill. Even if you're just a tad bit Irish, you might be able to trace part of your clan or your kinfolk back to Irish Hill. How does this all tie in? Well, during the Shamrock Run Walk, part of that route goes right through Fountain Square and a beautiful part of Indianapolis simply known as Irish Hill.